Come again, the bike bringing you another half ass production from Lehman Mall, 201 Christie Street. I'm gonna run in and take a look at the exhibition by Tony Ausler titled Peak. Now, Tony Ausler is a pretty funny artist. I've been watching the work for about 15 years. And a lot of it is dealing with this stuff, projection. We got some sound too. So I would assume that this latest series of work is all dealing with these very small video players. It's got like a little environment that he's made there. And I think he's probably got a lot of fans down here downtown that love his humor. A lot of it is very irreverent. This is a nice device he's got with a little finger and the projected finger on top of it. Uh, see, this, this is a lot like his previous work except everything is smaller. So beautiful. What do you think of the work? I just you think like, it's you like the work? It's so beautiful. I go to every show that he has, and this is by far. You like this? This is the best you've seen? Yeah, I think they're just, I think they're remarkable and, you know, thoughtful and dear and all of those things, you know? They're like little theaters. I guess to get the actual perspective, you have to stand right behind the projector here. This is very surrealistic. I think there's probably a certain amount of um, aesthetic experience you get just from from the way you have to view these. going on upstairs. We're up in the balcony now. Excuse me. Oh geez, there's Genesis P. Orridge. James Calm reporting on Tony Arsler here at Lehman Malpin on Christie Street. And we're taking a look at Peak. Thanks, Kate. Well, we're here at the Tibor Dinage Gallery. Oh, we're going to take a look at some paintings by this cat, David Cap. This is titled Crossing, 32 by 36 inches. Well, I've known David and his work for probably 25 years now. And I've written about it in the Brooklyn Rail. But I think that uh, he's one of the I would say more uh, courageous painters in New York. And by that I mean this is a, a guy that is pretty much stuck with his, 
his theme, his subject matter, and hasn't jumped around to uh, get on every bandwagon that comes along. This piece is titled Bowery North. And David gets most of his subject matter from the streets of New York. He's kind of like me. And I think one of the interesting things about the painting is that although these are landscapes, refer to reality, he does uh, kind of distort things with uh, what I would call a kind of New York school paint handling style. This is Houston Street. This is all downtown so far. Jeez, I really like these uh, chunky brush strokes. This also does a lot of pretty dry, has a kind of a matte surface on some of this. A lot of it doesn't get carried away with the glazing and varnishing. This is titled Houston Street. You know, the other thing is, in a way, this kind of recalls the work of Diebenkorn and his approach to landscape through abstraction. And I also like the fact that David really does know how to use you know, the darks against the lights, you can just, uh, you can really feel the shadows, sense the heat coming off the pavement. Well, this is the large version of Walker. And this is great the way these two shadows kind of leap off the edge of the canvas from those guys, the guy's legs. It's also interesting that a lot of this has a very kind of overhead view. Looking down, that kind of adds to the almost a topographical way of thinking about your subject matter. Oh, this must be the large version of rear view. This is painterly painting. Yeah. David is just, a, he's a damn good painter. I like it. Well, here's another thing that he likes to work with. Crowds of people. Oh, I wonder if this is people coming in and out of a Yankees game. It looks like it. And then if we get up close to one of these figures, they all just dissolve into smushy abstract brush strokes. Oh. We'll wrap up right here with Square Crowd. That must be Times Square. Well, you know, it's kind of cloudy and crappy outside. We've got a tropical storm coming up the coast and it's kind of yucky. But this one is nice because it reminds me of what New York is like when the sun is out. So, this is James Calm reporting on David Cap. Here at Tibor Denage, his recent paintings. Thanks, Kate.